So I'm on this road trip. I'm listening to this audiobook called More Everything Forever by Adam Becker, and he is coming for Ray Kurzweil. If you don't know who Ray Kurzweil is, he's a futurist and he's the main proponent of this idea of the singularity, this moment in the future when human beings and machines become one and indistinguishable from one another. And in this book, Adam Becker is absolutely trashing the idea of the singularity, of the AI future that Sam Altman and Elon Musk are promoting, of all these futurist ideas of this techno-utopian future that we all seem to be getting shoved down our throats at every turn. The main point that he's tackling so far in the book is about this idea of exponential growth. Uh, a lot of these futurists, especially Ray Kurzweil, use this idea that technology is on an exponential growth curve at the moment and, and it's just going to get better and better and better, faster and faster and faster over time. And that all of these things are the inevitable consequence of that exponential growth. But Becker calls out one example that these futurists, especially Kurzweil, love to use, which is the lily pads in a pond. The idea being that if you have two lily pads in a pond, then it'll become four, then it'll become eight, and it'll continue to exponentially grow until all of a sudden you have 100% of the pond completely filled with lily pads. And this is a real phenomenon that happens, but Becker is right to point out that at a certain point, it hits 100%. There is nowhere else for the lily pads to grow and they stop. That exponential growth stops. But Kurzweil and Altman and Musk, they like to take their exponential curves and project them out infinitely into the future with these wild ideas of colonizing the universe and turning Mars into a base for future humans. But what they're forgetting to take into account is that all exponential growth, by definition, eventually ends. And so we would be wrong to assume that this exponential growth is any different and is going to extend infinitely into the future. Becker points out that at the end of the day, all of these technologies only continue to grow because there's the political and financial will to continue making them grow. And if that goes away, which look at what the Trump administration has done to renewable energy recently, if that goes away, then all of this progress stops. Anyway, I'm really enjoying this book and I'm really happy that at least somebody is calling these techno utopians on their bullshit and not letting us just head towards some kind of mountain head style future where no one has any say except for these billionaires on what society becomes and how we live of our lives.